<laughs> we asked that uh, um, Pastor Charles uh -huh. mm -hmm. was saying. My Lord. <laughs>
Do you believe in your heart that you are really called by Christ church and therefore by God to this office? Do you believe the books of the Old and New Testament to be the word of God and the perfect doctrine of salvation rejecting all contrary beliefs? Will you diligently in your study of Holy Scriptures and in your use of the means of grace, will you pray for God's people and lead them by your own example in faithful service and holy living? Will you accept the church's order and government submit to ecclesiastical discipline? Should you become delinquent, will you be loyal to the witness and work of the Reformed Church in America, using all your abilities to further its Christian mission here and throughout the world? Just thinking here now, mainly. Will you faithfully, diligently, cheerfully manifest Christ's love and care, gather and distribute the offerings of God's people, visit and comfort the distressed, minister to the poor and needy, and strive to advance God's reign of justice and peace? Elders. Will you faithfully, diligently, and cheerfully study God's Word, oversee the household of faith, encourage spiritual growth, maintain love and discipline, and provide for the proclamation of the gospel and the celebration of the sacraments? Amen. We ask that you continue to say. Come on, somebody give them a hand. Clap and praise for them. We're going to have prayer here, and uh, we ask that y'all will come down and help us with the laying of hands and the prayer. And as they are faithfully praying for these candidates, we ask that you would pray as well. God of grace, pour out your Holy Spirit, gentle as a dove, burning as a fire, upon their heads with grace and power for this ministry of deacon and elder. In the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy, and the Holy Spirit, yet still to do in their lives. We thank you for what you have already done. And we believe that you still have much to do. And for that we give you all of the glory. And we praise your name.
Edom Covenant International Christian Fellowship publicly recognizes Elder Marissa Simpkins of Kingdom Covenant Empowerment Center. We therefore, we therefore find her to be faithful to the authority of the scriptures as the word of God, as contained as contain in all things necessary for salvation, education, and the life of the church. She has been found submissive to the authority and oversight of Kingdom Covenant Empowerment Center. Therefore, she has the right to carry out the duties of the church. So according to the scripture and compliances of the land as elder and co-laborer of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The certificate given the sixth day of August in the year of 2022 of our Lord. Here to inform that this document be confirmed and recorded as legal and legit. Thank you. 